we noticed during the late 90s, I was coming out here on a daily basis, the rice was vanishing almost literally just in a five-year period. And one of the interesting things was Canada geese. The, we realized that something was happening, but the geese were going up. But I thought, I never see the geese really grazing on this rice. And I didn't think that that was necessarily the issue. Andy was out here also doing some projects here with, with something similar with fencing and disclosures to looking at long-term changes in vegetation. Well, over time, we, we put up small one-meter disclosures in the rice, specifically all over the marsh. And we started noticing that everything outside disclosures was, was gone by midsummer. Inside, the rice was four, five, six feet high and everything else outside we had marked was gone, it was unprotected. So we realized that there was some grazing effect, but wasn't sure if it was that or European carp introduced here or what have you. But after a while, after the test after test, I stayed out here evenings observed, hundreds of geese returned to this marsh after sunset and no one normally would be here. And they were coming in from all the surrounding fields and they would feed all evening, night, the moonlit nights, and during the early morning hours, and they were devastating the rice. So we began to get grant money from NOAA and we got enough money to put up these fencing. And we put at the peak four miles of fencing of that 50 feet at a time of the vinyl coated four foot high wire and that excluded the geese as much as possible. You, you had to, we had to figure out the maximum size we could do that would keep the geese from flying over the fence. They don't like to fly in. They like to swim in from the edge. And if you create a barrier, it really is good at deterring their grazing effect because they eat their way from the edge back in. And as they trim it down early in growth stages in, in April, May, and early June, the plants are low enough to keep getting further and further access into the interior.